Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Real with Nabil. This is the show where we talk about new movies coming out in the cinemas in Doha this weekend and every weekend. Our first movie for today is Kong Skull Island. Not again. Wait, did you just say not again? Now we all know the king. Not this king. I mean, King Kong, the giant gorilla who's been the subject of numerous Hollywood movies since... Well, since they started making movies. The original version came out in 1933. A couple of Japanese remakes in 62 and 67. And of course, a Hollywood remake in 1976, and the last one you remember in 2005. Now we think that Peter Jackson's 2005 remake with Naomi Watts, Jack Black, and Adrian Brody was quite all right. Though purists will argue that the classic 1933 version was the best one ever. A true landmark in filmmaking that has inspired generations and we wouldn't disagree with them there. But don't give up on the new remake just yet, because Kong Skull Island is a pretty impressive film. It's got an all-star cast of Tom Hiddleston, Brie Larson, Samuel L. Jackson, and John C. Riley, who together deliver a great performance amidst some stunning imagery and fast-paced action. So if you're a fan of King Kong, or of gorillas and dinosaurs in general, then definitely check this one out this weekend. You can also experience the action in IMAX 3D like we did a couple of days ago at the premiere, and I'm telling you guys, it's worth it. When the sun refused to shine. Is that a monkey? Oh my god! He's been working so hard! Get us the hell out of here! Yeah! 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 Now here's a bit of extra trivia for fans of monster movies out there. Kong Skull Island takes place in the same universe as the 2014 Godzilla and is the second installment in Legendary Entertainment's Monsterverse. In the near future, we can also look forward to another Godzilla followed by Godzilla vs. Kong. <laughs> Our next film is called Viceroy's House and it'll be a treat for fans of period dramas, though people who know their history might be a little outraged. History is written by the winners, as the movie reminds us at the very start and goes on to prove throughout. This film has some beautiful and colorful scenes, but the story of the Indian struggle for freedom is completely whitewashed. Hugh Bonneville, who you know from Downton Abbey, and Gillian Anderson from The X-Files, play a great role as Lord and Lady Mountbatten. Portrayed as the overly benevolent colonial leaders come to rid India of its problems. Indian leaders, meanwhile, are shown with comic disrespect, with their British counterparts scolding and lecturing them at every chance they get. The film also stars the popular Indian actress Huma Qureshi, with a small role played by Om Puri, a Bollywood legend who just passed away in January. You think India is ready to rule itself? We've learned from the best. From now on, there'll be more Indians of all faiths round our table. We can change a lot, and we absolutely have to. You'll wear yourself out. I mean, I'll wear you out. 300 million Hindus and Sikhs want a united India. 100 million Muslims do not. You dance with your own kind. My own kind. You have some respect. <laughs> New nations are rarely born in peace. It's got to be a clean cut. It's a bloody axe cleaving right through people's lives. It's written and directed by the British Indian filmmaker Grenadier Chadda. Grenadier. Grenadier. <laughs> it's written and directed by the British Indian filmmaker Gurinder Chatta, who's best known for Bended Like Beckham from 2002. Watch this film to see how you can turn the story of a long and violent freedom struggle into a piece of fiction. Next, we have a Japanese animation film called Gamba, or Airbound. It's the story of a city mouse called Gavin and his buddy Matthew. Now, you can guess these are not the original Japanese names who join a ship crew and set sail for Dream Island to save a family of mice from a gang of wicked weasels. Japan is known for its anime, I'm a huge fan, but it's rare to see an animation film from that region. So if you want to know what that looks like, this is your chance. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll go with you, Chester. Well, I'm afraid it's only the two of us. Now, hold on a second. Count me in. We've got a whole team now. Yes! <laughs> well, well. Ready to join our feast this evening? 
I don't like the sound of that. No kidding, right? <laughs> you might want to check out Gamba this weekend, especially if you have kids, because it's bound to be a favorite amongst all the little ones. And finally, our weekly quota of terrible horror flick is filled by The Devil's Dolls. Combining serial murders with voodoo, it's about a detective running against time to save his daughter's life in a city consumed by an ancient curse. You've seen this. Have you ever heard of a worry doll? Sure, they're like children's toys. No, not all of them. Chloe, are you in here? <laughs> She's an eight-year-old girl, for Christ's sakes. Do you hear what she did? <laughs> What is this? I can't explain that. What can you explain? What ensues is brutal murders, lots of screaming, violence, blood, and gore. If that sounds like your cup of tea, then please be our guest. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this episode. If you've enjoyed it, then make sure you hit that like button. And of course, don't forget to share it with your friends. Do check out our social media outlets where you're always gonna find cool stuff from the movie world coming at you from the Real with Nabil team. Subscribe to our channel and catch us next Wednesday for another episode where we talk about new movies and films coming out in the cinemas in Doha this weekend and every weekend.